Okay, so this video is about, uh, of course, my DMX buddy. Um, sorry, I haven't been on posting stuff on YouTube. I've just been out with our band doing things. So I'm gonna start getting back into it now. But um, this is kind of a review, kind of how to fix, you know, uh, your DMX if it stops working, um, and a bunch of other things. But uh, so I just got this my DMX buddy. I'm actually building a nightclub here in Las Vegas, and uh, we were using the Elation one, and uh, their software is just too difficult for a lot of the um, the people that, that work the club to use, so I wanted to find something different. So I um, found this My DMX Buddy, it uses the My DMX 2.0. Uh, it's very cool. Um, I actually really dig it. And also, um, what happened was we, we were putting in these LED lights, and the electrician came in and turned off the power to the whole um, uh, nightclub, just flipped it off without you know, turned everything off, and I didn't have a, a an, an ender um, clip on the DMX, so it shot that back through, and it uh, fried the chip in my little my DMX buddy, and so um, I thought I was at the return it, but then I found out that you know, gosh, a a, a dollar for a chip, and there it takes you about four minutes to replace it, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now I shot when I was replacing it with my iPhone. And my iPhone died, so I'm going to show you some of it with my iPhone and some of it with pictures. So don't uh, thumb me down because my iPhone died. Just uh, follow along. It's really easy. Uh, I'll point some stuff out with pictures, and then I'll show you what I did capture with my iPhone um, with that video as well. But uh, so, but one thing you want to know is when you get my DMX buddy, let me show you the software. The software is so easy. So here's your software you get. So you have your setup. And here's your, uh, you know, your, your lighting, and and they have pre-made lighting, so you can just go through and find, you know, which which light you got. Um, if you don't have one of these lights listed, you can actually just make your own. Um, but let me just grab one here for a, a real quick example. Uh, let me just grab anything. So here's a bear. I don't know how many. But as soon as you lay it on there, it'll tell you, okay, this this light has uh, six DMX channels, so it'll cover that up, right? And so you have, if I'm gonna put that on one, or if I want to start this light on a on DMX channel 11, you know, then I'm, I know I'm going to use six DMX channels, and then that's pretty much all you do. You design your lights um, in here, and you can either pull them over or, or make your own. You know, just leave. You can either leave these blank and just uh, go to the editor. And you'll uh, you'll have the editor over here, so you know the first six is one you pulled in. The next six is one you have plugged in, but you don't have a pre-made. So you know, say if you, you know, can just use these like you would use a regular light board, and say, okay, well, cool, that's my next light. But um, you know, or you can just keep adding pre-made ones, and it'll show up over there on your editor. So that's all you do. Drag your lights here. Go set your DMX channel. What's nice about this, if you click on here, if you are using dip switches, it shows you right here. Okay, I need to set my dip switch for that one to uh, one, two, three down, and the rest up. On this one, I need to set it to, you know, you can see right there. So if you click on it, it shows you what DMX channel. If you're using dip switches on some of the, you know, the, the par cans, they use dip switches. So that's nice. And then after you, uh, after you get all your lights in here, you just go to Editor. And then you see your lights here, and you can edit your scenes. So let's just, I don't have any lights plugged in, so I'm just kind of pulling these up. And, um, you know, basically that's it. You just, you just built a scene. Or if you want to, if you want to add, uh, if you want to make your scene uh, chase, then you just go over to this is your chase window, and you just add another one. And so now I'm going to build another chase. So I just changed my lights parameters and now I'm going to add another one, and so now it'll chase to these, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you just built your first scene, basically. And then um, and then you go over to live mode, and you'll see here's your first scene, and you can rename it. So after you go through and you build multiple scenes, I'm just kind of doing this quick, you just, um, they'll come up here, and basically all you do is click, or if you have, you know, a controller, um, you know, a MIDI controller, whatever, you can use that. Um, so anyhow, yeah, that's but the software is just so much easier than than the other software. You have your you have your setup, pulling your lights, editor. That's where you edit your lights and your scenes and live mode. That's it. And on the newer version, you have a standalone mode too, which is actually uh, for 
if you're using the MyDMX Buddy, his little standalone button right here, and that uh, and that will you can go through your standalone stuff after you program them in there. So anyhow, so right now what I'm going to do is I want to show you. Um, I actually, uh, like I said, my my DMX chip went out, and so I had to replace a DMX chip. And I'll have a link in the description where you can get another DMX chip. There, there there's one for one ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine, and one for two dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, they both work great. Uh, they're both in the description. I got them both just to try them both out. Right now I have the one ninety nine chip in there, and it it seems to work fine. So I'm just have the other one for a backup. So uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can get those at too. If so, what, you know, if you're programming lights and you're going for a while, and and uh, and then something happens and your you can your your software is seeing your my DMX buddy, but you're not getting any MIDI output, then something happened. You know, you might be running a, you might not be having a. Um, at the end of your DMX chain, you should ha always have. It's a little adapter you put on the very end of it, and what it does is it is it just kills the DMX chain. Because sometimes you'll get a surge, and and what I found out with this, it'll go back up and and sometimes mess up the DMX chip. But they're really easy to replace. It takes like two seconds. So um, the first thing though you want to do, you want to unscrew the two screws right here. So that's the very first thing you do is unscrew the two screws. That getting out of the case it takes a little bit of pulling, but one thing you want to do is on the very back of the case. This right here is a uh, little plastic cap. And what you got to do is I, I, it took me a while to figure this out on my own because it, it doesn't really have it in any kind of directions. The cap doesn't screw in. What you do is just put a little piece in that little uh, niche right there and it just pulls out. It's just basically stuck in there. It just pulls out and it'll pull back in. It's just a little rubber end cap that just sits snug inside there. So it might take a little bit of pulling. Um, I used a all I had was a <clears throat> was a you know one of those little razor blade carpet things that you or razor blades that you use to cut carpet with that I had in my tool bag and I just stuck the razor blade in there and pulled it out and and it came out and um, it'll pull all the way out as well too it might seem like it's going to get stuck but it'll actually pull all the way out and then when you go and you unscrew after you unscrew the top of the two bolts and then right on the very front you'll see that my standalone. Um, now, when you start pulling on the uh, the XLR to pull it out of the case, you need to push that my standalone button in because that actually goes inside the case, and then um, so you push it in and you can push it down pretty hard to where it goes inside uh, the case, and then pull that out. And then when you pull it out, and then you'll 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 see what the you know how, where the where the um, the chip sets at. Now the chip, the, I'm gonna. I want to go back to the video I recorded with my iPhone, so it'll be kind of a weird edit here. Okay, so this is the um, my DMX um, my DMX buddy, and um, if you have a problem with your DMX, it's probably because your your DMX chip went out. So that little black thing right there is a DMX chip. So I'm going to try to show you how to take it apart before my phone dies. But all you got to do is, if it does, when you take this apart, um, the DMX chip. DMX chip right here. It even though it looks like it's soldered, just place both your fingers over here like this on both on both ends of it and pull as hard as you can. It'll pull out. And then you can buy another one. They're about two bucks, and you just push it right back in to the same place. You're not they're not soldered on the bottom, so don't try to unsolder them. Just uh, place your fingers on both sides and and your hand on the bottom of it. My hand's holding the phone, so I can't do that. And just pull it out. It take a little bit of effort. It'll pull out. The chip, all you got to look at is there's a notch in the chip, a little um, notch at one of the other chips. So when you pull that out, you just want to uh, put the, the new chip in with the same notch pointing in the same direction. And um, and there's no soldering on this chip. So if you're, it, it, it seems kind of hard to pull out, but if you just put your fingers on the end of it like this video, give it a good hard pull, it'll pull out. And then the um, putting it back in, all you're doing is pushing the other one back in in the same direction that you pulled that one out, the old chip out. And then um, putting it back together, basically just sliding it back in the case, um, inside the case, and um, in, and then you'll get to the little uh, the uh, standalone button, and you get, might have to put your fingernail in there, wiggle it around a little bit to pop in there. And after it pops in there, then just push the little uh, plastic um, boot on the back, back over the USB plug, get that nice and snug, and then put your bolts, your screws back in. And then you're good to go. Plug it in and you'll have DMX back again.
So anyhow, um, as far as what I, if I like about it, I, I think it's a great little product. Um, you, you know, for 99 bucks, you can get them over at at, uh, at Zounds for um, $25 a month. You know, four payments of 25 bucks a month. And you, what's nice about Zounds too, and I use Zounds all the time, is you don't need to have any credit. All you have to do is have a bank account. And they're a huge company. Um, so uh, there's a link in the description that will take you right to this page. But yeah, it's a great thing. So I hope you like this video. hope it helps you out. And, um, and please like and thumbs up. And stay tuned for more products. Action.